Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg. Chance for a few showers here tonight. There's an outside chance for an isolated tornado in our southeastern counties. You draw a line from Dubuque to Cedar Rapids southeastward. That's when we may see an isolated thunderstorm that could produce a tornado. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Otherwise, a few more showers here tomorrow. Lots of sunshine as we get into the day on Friday. Here's the wind on the light side tonight and into the day tomorrow. A little uptick as you get in towards the evening hours at about 10 or 15 miles per hour. So again, a couple of some of these a couple of these storms in our southeastern counties could produce an isolated tornado uh, here during the evening hours. As we head through the overnight, it's just going to be a few showers around. Clouds expected here during the day tomorrow. A little bit of sunshine in our southeastern counties could pop off a couple more showers. Uh, any thunderstorms should remain off to our south and east. This moves out of the area during the overnight hours and lots of sunshine here for Friday. Temperatures tonight will be down into the 50s for overnight lows, warming into the 50s and 60s. Eventually, we're going to get some warmer weather in here, and it comes just in time for the weekend. Here's your city-by-city city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. Sunshine on Friday, stray storm here on Saturday. Most places will be dry. And here's your 10-day forecast. As we get into the early part of next week, temperatures will be increasing into the upper 80s, some spots low 90s, and the humidity level increases as well. Very muggy conditions here by the end of the holiday weekend into the early part of your new work week or shortened work week. And then our front will pass by on Wednesday with a few storms. That'll cool things down here for the end of the week with highs then in the 70s.